everyone. So today I'm going to be reading The Action of Subtraction by Brian P. Cleary. Um, so this is for my mathematician second graders. Right now we are working on um, subtracting two digit numbers. But even if you're not in second grade and even if you're not working on subtraction right now, anyone can enjoy this book. Um, there's rhyming, there's numbers, and it's just fun. Are you ready? Okay, the action of subtraction. Subtraction is an action that will make your total less, whether ice cream scoops or hula hoops or inches from a dress. Whatever you are counting, it will take away a part and leave you then with not as much as you had at the start. If seven angry bulldogs were barking at your door, a kitten could scare three away, then you'd be left with four. And what if 13 hornets had nested in your tree? If 10 of them would just buzz off, then you'd have only three. Do you see what subtraction does? It changes the amount, so you'll wind up with fewer when you do your final count. Minus means to take away some number from the whole, like if you had 10 bowling pins and grabbed a ball to roll. Let's say you knocked down eight pins with the first ball that you threw then two would still be standing because 10 minus eight is two. Your second ball knocks two more down. You did it, you are the hero. Now all the pins are down because two minus two is zero. In this case, is means equals or totals just the same. That sign means matching value in a problem or a game. Like if you had three timeouts left and somehow lost your shoe, your coach would have to call one and then you'd be left with two. Three was what you started with, then you subtracted one. That would equal two more left before the game was done. If Jen had 12 stuffed animals and she gave two to Sally, then five more went to Mary Kate. Here's how you do the tally. Start with 12, take two away. 12 minus two is 10. Subtract the five for Mary Kate. Then that leaves five for Jen Whenever we subtract things, it can make us sad or glad, <laughs> depending on whatever there is less of, good or bad. Like fewer school days due to snow and less time with the dentist, not as much discomfort since the doctor fixed your bent wrist. A smaller plate of vegetables a shorter list of chores, less time with your homework, and not quite as many snores. See, the numbers move towards zero with a shrinking kind of action. And all of this is possible because we have subtraction. So what is subtraction? Do you know? Thanks for joining me. See you soon.